Hello everyone and welcome to my review of The Elder Scrolls Online, generously gifted to me by those kind people at GamesExtreme.com. Now they've asked me to tell them what I think about it, so in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through the first 10 minutes with you guys and tell you what I think while doing it. So here we go. The storm is coming. Yep. It's definitely a storm. The scent of war swells in the air. As the Imperial throne lies empty, the fate of all Chamriel rests on the strength of a common prisoner's soul. Evil awakens. A long vanished foe stirs. Those who would destroy Tamriel seek out dangers to their dark plot. And so death's long arm reaches out. It is the 582nd year of the Second Era. The drums of war are sounding. This is where our journey begins. Are pretty much stand. Oh dear lord! <laughs> okay, I think that face would scare me if I was looking at it in the mirror in the morning. And again, mine does too. <sighs> you know, that was a fairly standard Elder Scrolls introduction. You are a prisoner who's going to rise up to save the world. But it doesn't quite work for me online, to be honest with you. It's there's going to be 400 other prisoners who've risen up to take on the world in on the same server as you, and that's going to get a touch boring. But anyway, moving on. What have we got here? We have uh, a very, very interesting-looking Argonian. Ooh, look at that tail, lady. Um, we can select male. We can select female. We can select the Dagger Full Covenant. We can select the Aldermary Dominion, and we can select the Even Heart Pact. I should imagine by the fact that they're red, they're the bad guys. So we'll go with them. What else have we got here? Okay, we've got the standard races: Argonian, High Elf, Breton, Orc. Always worth a look. You need to go to the dentist, dear. Uh, Wood Elf, Dark Elf, Nord, Khajiit, Red Guard. And because I paid the extra, yeah, believe it or not, Imperial. So, what have we got here? Um, okay, so preview. Novice gear. Veteran gear. Wearing a pineapple on her head. And no gear. And shouldn't be, she be wearing two more bras, seeing she's a cat. Settings. Pretty standard stuff. Okay, back to the preview. Okay, all right, we'll go with this character class. Well, four classes. I thought it was an Elder Scrolls game. Where's the 150 different classes? Or you can make up your own by picking skills. Four classes. Okay. 
Well, that's a good start. Too few characters. I haven't started typing yet. Okay. Um. There we go. All right. Dragon Knight. These skillful masters at arms use an ancient El Akaviri martial arts tradition of battle spirit to wield fearsome magic that pounds, shatters, and physically alters the world around them. Sorcerers use conjuration and destruction spells, hurling lightning bolts and creating shock fields, wielding dark magic to snare and stun, and summoning from oblivion to conjure daedric combat followers. Nightblades. Nightblades are adventurers and opportunists with a gift for getting in and out of trouble. Relying variously on stealth, blades and speed, nightblades thrive on conflict and misfortune, trusting to their luck and cunning to survive. Templars. These travelling knights call upon the powers of light and burning sun to deal massive damage to their enemies while restoring health, magicka and stamina to their allies. So, what have we got here? We have... We have warriors, we have mages, we have thieves and we have clerics, warrior clerics. Let's go with this one. Okay, body. Muscular line. Oh, that's interesting. That's not bad. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Hmm. That should really be fur colour in this case, mine, but, uh,. So, body markings. I mean, this at least is reasonably good to Elder Scrolls. I mean, the Elder Scrolls games are always fun for uh, creating characters. Let's not worry about the rest. Move on. Face. Yes, she has one. Hmm. Okay, some quite nice presets there. Two sets of voices, I don't know what they're going to do. Eyes, brows, nose, mouth, ears. Let's leave that all as it is for now and move on to the game, shall we? Create! No, seriously, create! There we go. Right, so. Everybody has just broken out of prison. At least that's what I think it's going to be. So let's see what happens. Dum de dum de dum dum de dum de dum de dum. Search the cell. We have a bottle. Oh, I have email whilst in this jail cell. Wonderful. Press not bound to open your social menu. I don't think I will, to be honest with you. Two bowls. And a sack. Okay. Slowly now, you've been through an ordeal. Take a few moments to collect yourself. Like you, I'm a prisoner in this place, yet so much more. I am the past and the future, both. I am despair and hope. The tapestry we weave is a complex one. You cannot hope to see its pattern in its entirety. Not yet. Okay, I'm thick. What you do you want from me? You must rescue me, and I, in turn, must rescue you. You must escape from the you in, by the looks of it. And protect yourself. Then find Lyris Titanborn.
Right, thanks for that. That cleared everything up. You there. We are escaping. Let me open your door. That's it. Quickly. You must escape before the guards return. Right, so we can move between first person and third person by the mouse wheel. Quickly, follow urgency. We can sprint. It's pretty standard stuff. Doesn't actually add much speed, mine, does it? La -de -la -de -la. Let's go the way the rest of the panicking people are. Ah! There are weapons in the forge beyond these cells. Take and equip a weapon. You cannot open cell doors from the outside. Of course, cell doors always open from the inside. What am I thinking? I'm so foolish. get the feeling I should have picked up a weapon by now. Frying tonight! Well, we are down to 10 minutes and we've just got out to follow in the panicking prisoners, so if you'll give me a minute. I'm going to reset my timer for another 10 minutes and see if we can actually find the out here. So it's the first 20 minutes! That plan went well, didn't it? A nice staff. Okay, I to open my inventory. Cast off maple ice staff. I suppose I can use that as a weapon, can't I? Mouse over an item to see with items properly. Press E to equip or unequip an item. Press right mouse button over an item to view other actions. Okay. Quick the chant and Troy destroy Lincoln chat. Oh I see, mark his junk report item. Okay. So, equipped. Left mouth left mouse button for a light attack, lots of left mouse button for a heavy attack, right mouse button for a defensive position. Okay. Jill cheese, some pork, and cloudy aquavite. Okay, let's have ourselves a mace. We mace as well, haven't we? What else we got? We have a shield. And we have a sword. Search the basket, take the lockpicks. Search the barrel, take the drippings. Nothing else here. I tell you what, let's equip that sword and shield instead, shall we? we go. And level 15 we can switch weapons. Okay. What else we got? Lockpicks. Assume we'll find out how those work later on. Right, there we go. Somebody is not panicking. Keep what are you doing? More guards are on the way. Like you, I am escaping this place. But since I have been here for some time, the tall one asked me to help the newer prisoners find their way. Those who are captured will be flayed. Sadly, that will not end their torment. Soul Shriven cannot die. To one. The half giant, Lyris Titanborn. She leads this uprising. I do not know how or why she is here, but to the Soul Shriven, she is a gift we are the soul messengers shriven. of people whose souls were stolen by the God of Schemes. I dare not utter his true name in this place. 
The soul shriven are doomed to slavery in Cold Harbor for eternity. Or at least until we are no longer useful. The longer we remain here, the less whole we remain. Our bodies waste away. Our skin shrivels, and eventually our minds twist and lose any notion of reality. The oldest of the soul shriven are completely insane. We call them pharaohs. Okay. Oh, oh, the yes. pharaohs dangerous. The well. actually fear them. Pharaohs have no fear of pain or death. It's always important to get the bloody obvious questions out of the way first, them. isn't it? They will attack and eat anything they can get their claws on, even each other. You will. You are a new arrival, yes? The newly arrived have more free will, more fighting speed. But that won't last. It never does. In time, uncounted years in the house, you will become feral. So I'm kind of getting the impression that by spending time in prison you become Argonian, which seems a little bit odd, knowing the Elder Scrolls as I do. Much more. But there is no time. You must keep moving if you want to survive. Go now. Bye bye. Strike it down. Do not slow the vestige. With the passing of time, any indecision becomes decision. Okay, well that... It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, to be totally honest with you. It was uh, standard Elder Scrolls running up to people and waving a sword at them until they die. Search the bone cart. Club worms and crawlers. Search the wheelbarrow. Ah, the worms in the wheelbarrow didn't eat as much. I see. Onwards. Another enemy blocks the path ahead. Dispatch it quickly. Is increased. See Torben character menu. Send a tribute. Da 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 da. Oh, you can read all that if you want. Okay. Title. No title. I'll stick with the no title title then. Okay. Magicka. How many spells you can cast? Health. The amount of damage you can take. Stamina. Weapon damage, weapon ability damage, let's have a couple of points. Uh, oh, I've only got one point to spend, so we'll have one point of that. And we'll commit the points. Character skills. There are many different ways to customize your character's combat style. Browse the different skill lines, mouse over the ability to see what to do, click plus to purchase an ability for use. Okay, Assassin's Blade. Right, so it looks like these are going to be a Q. So they have assassination skills, shadow skills, hiding time by the looks of it, siphoning, um, magic damage that heals. Oh, that looks nice. Weapon skills. Okay, armor skills, light, medium, and heavy. Yes. Kajit skills. Medium armor expertise, so it's fairly obvious where a Khajiit should be. Craft. Alchemy! Yay, love alchemy. Blacksmithing. Okay, it looks like there's a crafting system in place. Which, actually, to be totally honest with you, is pretty much better than most of the Outer Scrolls classes, but um, for now. 
Let's try the healing skill, shall we? Yes, I want to purchase the strife skill. Press 1 to use the ability. Okay, that's been fair enough. Right. You've got more meat on your bones than most of these poor bastards, and I see you've armed yourself. Good. I see you're going to eat me now. I hope you've still got some fight left in you. You're going to need it. A fellow prisoner. The name's Lyris. What? Who told you to find me? An old Prophet. man in rags. He spoke to you? What did he say? Ha. That sounds like the Prophet, all right. He's a prisoner here, too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. You must think you can help me. Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Tamriel's a long way from here. Okay, completed climb. Okay, reached the towers of eyes. Still can't search any of these bodies. Well, that was hard. We made it. Right, let's press M to open our map. Destroy a cold harbor, uh, destroy a cold harbor sentinel. We talk to Lyris. Mouse will zoom. Does nothing. Our current location does nothing because oh, I assume this, this is a, a smaller map than usually shown. So, soul shriven and destroy a cold harbor sentinel. Alright. Hello! The sentinels are at the top of those towers. We need to find a way up. What's Magical constructs created by Molag Bal to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. The Sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck, that will buy us the time we need to free the Prophet. I have no idea. Brute force? We'll find a way. We have to. Be ready for anything. I doubt Molag Bal left the Sentinels unguarded. Let's go. Cool. Right. Well, that's 20 minutes of my 10 minute preview. I think I'm going to stop there. Well. You know, this is a funny mix. This is in many ways the Elder Scrolls, but in many ways not the Elder Scrolls. Um, I quite like it, to be totally honest with you, which was not really the impression I thought I would be having at this point. I mean, it has huge problems, to be totally honest with you, but it's just got past beta, so that's not necessarily the uh, uh, difficulty. But outside of the game are the things that annoy me. Um, for example, it required 60 gigabytes free space on my C drive in order to, uh, to do patches, even though I installed it on a different drive. Now, I have about 9 terabytes worth of space. However, I have my C drive on a small 128 gigabyte S solid state disk. So I, I don't have to worry about replacing it, uh, replacing things when things go wrong. Um, all of my data is on different hard disks. All of my programs are on different hard disks. The only thing that's on this is the operating system. And trying to find 60 gigabytes with a free space in that was actually quite painful. And to, to be honest with you, by the time I got this far, I was really quite annoyed. I'd really quite had enough. The fact that the game, for all its silliness, did pull me in quite quickly is an indication that it's potentially not that bad a game. I can't see myself playing it though. I can't see myself playing it though because you've got to spend a small pig in fortune to buy the game and then you've got to shell out every month in order to play it. There's only one other game out in the market that really does this, which is Warcraft. And to be totally honest with you, if they sat 
at a boardroom and said, hey, Board Warcraft is the biggest game out there, let's do what they're doing, they, they've made a mistake. Because the only reason Warcraft can get away with charging a subscription, hello, is the fact that they are the biggest game out there. And even they are having problems maintaining subscribers. So, yeah, it looks good, it looks interesting, it's, of, it's got clear problems. But, quite frankly, with a bit of work, with a bit of dedication, those problems can be overcome. Except for, to be honest with you, the subscription model. Anyway, that was my rant. That was 20 minutes of a 10 minute preview. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for your time.